we are cleaning up the grounds. There's many gravestones that are tipped over or cracked or buried under years of debris. So we've been picking up sticks and pulling weeds, making it look a lot cleaner, as well as um, uncovering some graves that probably haven't been seen for 50 years or so. So it's been really emotional experience to be able to see some of these graves that haven't been seen in so long and hopefully get them seen again by family or just anybody passing through. We can't go back and stop the Holocaust from happening, but we can try and fight against the lasting effects of it and trying to make sure that these people are remembered and they're cared for because their families are, some of them may not be around anymore to take care of these graves. So it's very important that just because someone did something awful, uh, that we will not allow that to continue to have an impact on these people. Even though this is something very small, we're undoing some of the hate and fighting against hate and anti-Semitism that um, was like why this was destroyed. It gives us a chance to honor those who were affected by the Holocaust. A lot of these people actually died before the Holocaust and their families may not be able or never got the chance to be able to come here and care for their graves. Um, and a lot of the destruction that happened, it's um, giving us students a chance to fight against the acts of the Holocaust and I think that's the most important part. I became interested in this program because um, it seemed like a great opportunity. I know a couple of students who were in my sorority who had talked about this program and whenever they talked about it, they um, said it was by far their favorite experience at Albion and wanted to try it out. I, I think that this program is just uh, completely incredible and its ability to try and reshape people's minds and show people the human side of the Holocaust and s see that that well, we're not dealing with actual victims here, we're, we're dealing with people that lost the ability to have someone to care for them because of the Holocaust. And the ability to do something against hate and prejudice, um, to make sure that these people are not lost to the sands of time, is something I think that is really uh, inspiring and something that more people should do.